pick up some body panels, drop them off to get lettered, pick up a body that's been lettered already, possibly stop at Harbor Freight, get some blankies so the body panels don't get scratched up. Maybe get some breakfast on the way. Hey, do we get breakfast? Uh, we can get breakfast. Yeah. Okay, all right. All right, that'd be great. Yeah, so I guess then, sold. Let's do it. All right, to Barron's. I can't do it, I'll tell you guys. Got our swag and, all right, we're strapped in. No pressure, Anthony. I don't think it's gonna fall out, I hope not. Don't think, think better not. <laughs> Got his signs. And I hear a bunch of puppies. Gotta drop this off. Hi, oh, hello guys, hi. One, two, next. Looks fresh. So while Anthony and I ran some errands, the guys have been over here washing up Jill from last night's race. Um, don't think I have really clarified with you guys what's going on. Just been go since this morning. Um, we are racing Albany Saratoga Speedway this evening. So uh, quick uh, fix up and clean that car so we don't have to do it later. And uh, now I gotta rearrange the toter because there's no room in the trailer because we've been on the road for literally a week now. Um, so we're gonna have to put the panels in the toter, figure that out. And like I said, you gotta like layer them and it's a freaking process because I mean, we spent all this money on body panels and you don't wanna get them scratched up. So how to go to Harbor Freight, get some blankets for that, and uh, gonna figure out how I'm gonna manage this. So wish me luck. Fest, guys. Oh my gosh. She's layered to the max. Let me tell you what. Got them all here and all up in the bunk. Like, you definitely don't want to be hitting your head, but holy smokes. All right, it's a lot for one o'clock. <sighs> Loading up the car now. But, um, but, okay, so taking a minute to explain this. Like, yeah, it looks like nice panels, fresh lettering. Let me tell you what, I think the body itself is maybe two grand, probably more, taking gander here. And the lettering is more than likely at least a thousand dollars. So just in these guys right here, I'm gonna ballpark minimum three thousand. Someone can correct me, but I look like a freaking hot mess, holy crap. So next time you see someone get wrecked and you see their whole car crushed up, add that together because it ain't fun and it is expensive. It's insane. So we are packed to the max and boy am I ready to just go home and pass out, but we still have more night racing to go. So. Heading to Albany Saratoga Speedway. I was hoping to get on the road at 1. It's about 1.20ish. So, uh, make sure we got everything done, loaded. I could really just go for a jump in someone's pool right about now. And just like that, we are back at Albany Saratoga Speedway. Do you ever feel like deja vu? Always. Always? Man. What? You are filthy already. 
<laughs> now to go up and see these lovely gentlemen to check in with the honey cover. Hey! Changing your joints. Something we do constantly. Seems like. drivers will be here too but he'll be signing autographs personally and we will also have the book for sale too so if you are here next week or you want the book come hang out with us so excited when the family comes <laughs> Oh, no. 
You think you can multitask? Heat race recap? You got it. Uh, tonight was cool. We won the heat race for Stand Demand. I uh, got a cool 320 bucks, I think. Yep. And uh, I don't know, the car just took off on the start and was like this hooked up. Really loved the way it drove, loved the track. And good, uh, like I was good on the top in one corner and kind of bottom in the other corner. Uh, or fight. I don't know, I can kind of move around anywhere. But uh, it's actually the, the leader that kind of forced me up to the top in one and two, and I, I liked it up there. Which it, it didn't really look like there was that much grip up there, but I enjoyed it. So stayed there and finished out the 12 lap P race. We'll be starting ninth in the feature. And I think we got a pretty good car. So let's see if Jenny can get another one here.
teacher like that, uh, we were just hanging. Um. So tonight, uh, heat race went really well. The car was really fast. Uh, made zero changes for the feature, and we were out to lunch. I don't know why. Um, feels like tires to me. I don't understand what, you know why the chassis would be any worse. Um, just real disappointed and uh, kind of clueless because I don't have any clue what what uh, you know other people are running for tires and whatever. So you know, I'm thankful for our sponsors and everyone's support, but this. Nights like this really here. I don't know what to do. <laughs> kind of lost, so. Uh, it didn't matter whether I ran the bottom or the top, I was just going back. So, that's, that's it. Well, not gonna lie. It's quite depressing when uh, you run so well and then all of a sudden you just don't. Like I said, there's the high, and then it's like, we're doing something wrong. What could it be? Any takers? Any takers? I'm always open to suggestions and tips. Thank you. So we are heading to the galley for some dinner. And a few drinks, because definitely need it right now. Um, we don't race again until oh, we're back here next week Friday, but then we have a three-day race weekend, so uh, thanks guys for joining along. It was not fun, it was, but then it happened to not be. They're all waiting for me. Okay, like the video, subscribe the channel, head over to Patreon, get some more exclusives, and we will catch you guys in a week.